This is a comic review of Avengers 95. This came out in January 1972, ages and ages ago, 48 years ago. I think personally it's got one of the most confusing covers ever because it doesn't really cover the book. But then again, how many comic covers ever do? I mean, you've got Maximus here holding Captain America. What? <laughs> really? Uh, well, that doesn't happen at all. And Maximus hardly features really other than in a bit of a flashback scene. So why do it? And also the Avengers are all sort of, they're very odd. However, it does feature the brilliant artwork of Neil Adams just here and Roy Thomas story. And also uh, Tom Palmer, Inca and Sam Rosen. And you've got that. I think that's just one of the best starting pages. I love, I love the artwork of Neil Adams. Just superb, superb, superb. And the story really is, all about the mandroids and this for half of it is about the mandroid story which is resolved with spoilers so i'm just gonna say before i go any further there are a little bit of spoilers here because of course it's virtually impossible to talk about a comic without mentioning a little bit about what actually happens i could talk about panel construction it's a lovely panel here you've got um 12 that's quite unusual 12 panels there that's quite a lot and then the next page you've just got three uh, unusual by doing it, but that was the way. You know, I just love the way that Triton's going through the uh, city, and you've got people suddenly noticing this guy that's fully green and obviously just come out of the sea, and uh, all the people are chasing him. Why is it that people end up chasing people? Surely they know who Triton is. That he's obviously, I suppose, in humans were still not particularly liked at that point. I love the bit that he's knocked something over. Probably would have killed everyone actually. That all the boxes falling on people. So uh, you've got the Mandroid battle still going on. Now, also, at the same time, you've got the Cree and Skrull story, which sort of, like, disappears. It doesn't really feature hardly in this. This is sort of like an in-between comic and resolving a storyline that was in the Amazing Avengers, where Black Bolt comes to New York and has, has lost his memory. He's been obviously been pushed out by Maximus, who's developed this sort of brain-mind power. And you've got Nick Fury turns up in this as well. And you've got here, let's like say Maximus does turn up, but not in the way that's uh, shown in this cover. Got a little bit of conflict between the Avengers where you've got them obviously discussing the fact, hey, there's a Kree scroll war going on. We've got to save the universe, that sort of thing. Oh, by the way, can we go and resolve and help Maximus, uh, sorry, not Maximus, but Black Bolt to get rid of Maximus and the Great Refuge? Well, of course, of course we are. So they go off and do that. So that's a great little storyline. And you've got Black Bolt there. So you've got Black Bolt. Uh, I, I really enjoyed those amazing adventure stories. And it's nice that they actually resolved it finally in this issue. Clearly, they obviously didn't resolve it in the uh, in Amazing Adventures. Would have been good if they'd done that. Captain America, however, does actually resolve it finally. It's a great scene. Swack or crang as the character gets hit on the head. Always a bit of a problem with that uh, the shield. Luckily, of course, at this point, Black Bolt doesn't actually say anything. He's just got this lovely scene of him just sort of staring. It's going, oh, you know. But, uh, however, got a little bit of a flashback where he sort of, Black Bolt is remembering, lovely blue page there. Just superb artwork. I think Neil Adams is one of the best. I love his work. Whenever I pick any of Neil Adams' comics, well, I'm always happy to read these, and I can always reread them many, many times. So a great little story there. With Maximus, and then you get uh, I say, a bit of the Mandroid still story result. Now we're about halfway through the comic. We haven't actually got to the bit where it actually mentions again Avenger versus Inhuman. Weird title. There's no versus Inhuman at all in this. So why did they call it that? You've got Black Bolt, of course, going back to the refuge and resolving the storyline. And that's but actually saying that, you've got suddenly. There's a brief bit about the Kree Scroll War. I love that storyline. Of course, the uh, best way to read these is always, I mean, obviously the original comic books, everyone loves the originals, but uh, I think of the omnibus edition, the omnibus edition where you can read all the way through the story in order, in beautiful quality. But I still love reading these old issues, even, even so. Of course, with the omnibus editions, they're even bigger, which is great. So you can see the detail, lovely inking as well. So, then on to the last page, and this is one thing, of course, that's not included in the omnibus editions. 
the Marvel bullpen. I love the bullpen section. That's one of my favourites. The checklist. You've got Mighty Marvel checklist. And you've got Fantastic Four 180. That was Diablo versus Fantastic Four. Spider-Man 104 with Craven the Hunter and Gog. Thor 195 against the Troll Legions. Mangog Returns. Avengers 95, of course, just been talking about. Uh, tackles the evil in humans, it says, amid the great refuge itself. Which, of course, is the latter part of the story. The rest of the story is, of course, the Mandroids. Then you've got Hulk 147 with the Androids and the Leader. Captain America, which is the Hydra story. Submariner with the uh, Namor and Human Torch team up, issue 45. Daredevil 83 with uh, Black Widow, accused of murder. Iron Man 45, you've got the Night Phantom. Conan Barbarian 13, the Web of the Spider God. And Amazing Adventures 10, we've got Black Bolt on the side of the murderous Magneto. And then Marvel Feature 2, of course, you've got the Defenders are back. Submariner, the Hulk, and Doctor Strange, Dormammu. And then Sergeant Fury, who's, who'll stop the rain? <laughs> and of course, the uh, letters page, which they do include, of course, in the omnibus editions. And that's it. You've got some adverts for uh, bikes at the back. I love this issue. Like I say it's a bit of an in-between one. So you, if you get it, you sort of, it's more of finishing off a storyline from Amazing Adventures, but it doesn't really add anything particularly to the Kree Scroll War. Though, weirdly, of course, the Inhumans with the Kree, etc. In a sense, there is a connection, I guess, but uh, not particularly talked about in this, which is odd. But still, Avengers 95, all the way back from 1972. Brilliant.